okay so uh, good evening or good morning i don't know uh, what the, what will the time for that uh, reason so in india there is a, a night so uh, let first i'll talk about myself i'm rajraj i'm a gdg organizer i lead gdg uh, punjab region community and i'm a google developer expert for web technologies and uh like in this webinar or workshop first i'll talk about the web performance and then amp part and then amp stories so uh like uh, when you open a site uh, like usually like slow sites user get frustrated look at this guy uh your site is loading slowly that uh, that has been driven to take up smoking you probably seen the plenty of data about why speed matters how fast uh, how fast a website tends to have a lower bounce rate so uh, in general case uh, like 53% user will leave your website if the uh, loading time of your website is more than 3 second uh, in a average cases like uh, for 3g speeds so average uh, timing is around uh, 12 second so you have to optimize the website like i need to optimize the javascript file also css file and then web and also i need to increase the performance rate with the uh, html and css and javascript code so have you might have seen this thing uh, in your mobile browser or on a web pages like uh, these uh, these web pages hosted on amp which is uh, it's a amp accelerated mobile pages uh, which is open source uh, framework web component framework for making a super fast web pages so uh, like Uh, amp is working on three core component so first one is amp html so amp html is a modified version of html tags for example in uh, normal html we have a tags like image tag so similarly if you are working on amp we have amp image tags and uh, if i talk about the amp js library it's a javascript library which is which implement uh, the best performance and practices and manage the resources or uh, loading over the pages so is a kind of cdn file which which will be responsible for running a amp html pages and third one is a amp caches so amp caches we use amp caches for caching a data so that our web, web pages uh, will be making uh, faster so how we can create amp pages so so uh, like uh do you uh, like uh, we have to add a amp attribute in a html tags and second we need to add import uh, or import amp js library in our web pages so this is an example uh, like we have a html tags and then i added a amp as a attribute and then i loaded a amp js library so this is a amp pages and this this is this is very fast as compared to the ordinary html page so if i talk about the amp html page, uh, tags so for example we have in normal html we have image tags if i am working on amp so i need to use amp image tags so i can pass a attribute like uh, src alternative height and width and the responsive also layout so similarly you can add image with amp video so this is example for amp youtube so if you want to learn more about amp so we have a website amp.dev so this is a resources overall what is amp and all kind of things so uh, in this overall uh, workshop online workshop i am going to talk about amp stories so amp stories is totally uh, is a kind of instagram like stories we can share that stories on multiple platform for example uh, i can get a, a shareable url and i can share so i i'll give you this uh, live example for amp stories so this is my web browser on mobile screen so i'll search for sundar pichai so i got a result Hi, so when i click on uh, yeah i'm i mean uh, can you please give little bit background i mean uh, why this am came in the picture we have the web view we have the flutter before we use for the web application for android so yeah a little bit so that yeah. i can uh, yeah exactly okay so as a web developer first we need to optimize our website because we write html css and javascript code so first we need to optimize the website because i want that uh, my website will be visible or 
like loading time is much more faster than as compared to the other website or it it will it have a capacity to run on a low bandwidth network so uh, google have developed their app js library mm -hmm. so is a kind of web component framework we can use so like like google is using amp for serving of amp web pages over the network so this is an example of amp okay so totally uh, yeah so we can i mean uh, we can develop the web application through amp right yeah and how we can call the android api and everything in that no 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 it's a web component library for uh, web pages okay so for making a super fast web pages okay so we cannot develop any android application with this no no we cannot develop amp Mm -hmm. any android application okay. so flutter is a different thing flutter is a part of hybrid applications yeah. for example i can code in a single base and my code is working on multiple platform like i can run my application on android as well as ios yes but amp is a web component framework or a library uh, we can use that library in our web pages for making a super fast web page okay, okay. yeah makes sense thanks okay so uh, for example uh, this is a web page uh, google search so when i search on uh, search the type uh, like sundar pichai so there is a uh, like see her story so this is working on amp so this is a amp stories okay so i can share in your screen uh, uh, are you just google searching sundar pichai because we can only see your presentation hello hello yeah vijay raj can you hear me yeah so are you searching it uh, sundar pichai over google because we can see only your presentation here just wait for a minute maybe you should share your whole desktop yeah 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 whole desktop so visible screen yeah yeah now it visible okay so okay so this is my google search on mobile screen so i'll search sundar pichai so this is result so when i click on uh, his stories so this is a amp stories okay i can share uh, i can get a shareable links so i can share that amp stories on multiple platform i can share on whatsapp twitter instagram any other platform okay so this uh, you are developing a website which will be compatible with uh, android phone right yeah yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, that i'm sure is totally running on browser side so you have to run that url on browser okay i mean mo okay. mobile browser or or any desktop browser yeah any desktop or any mobile browser for example i build a, uh, so this is example for google developers community program so you mm -hmm. can open it on browser i can share this link gbd sorry we don't have here yeah okay so this is the amp story is running on uh, browser i can share that story with multiple platform yeah so this is example gdg-story.web.app it's a it's a app stories for google developers community program okay so what is the app stories app stories is a kind of a, like a, a it's a kind of a full screen visual storytelling experience for example we can share a status on whatsapp or instagrams instagram stories so similarly uh, app stories uh, like we can create a beautiful ui with amp stories we can share that amp story on multiple platform for example on whatsapp or uh, like uh, if you are using instagram i can share that uh, instagram story on only on instagram page applications not on other and any other applications for example i cannot run instagram story on twitter or facebook uh, facebook is totally working on and also amp stories are very fast and we can share the the that url also so we can how we can create amp stories 
I'll show you the demo uh, part. First, I'll cover the presentations. So like in AMP stories, we have an AMP stories tag. And inside AMP stories, we can have a multiple pages. And each pages have can uh, have their multiple layers. And similarly, each layer have multiple elements, OK? Okay, so this is the architecture uh, overall. Like for ex for example, I have AMP stories, so AMP story tag, and then we have AMP, AMP story pages. So I have I did two AMP story pages, and then we have a layer, and then elements. Okay, so this is an example. Uh, like for example, I want to AMP implement AMP story. I just need to add AMP story CDN, and then I can use uh, AMP story. I can make. So this is the example. So at, I'll first I'll work on AMP, AMP pages. So this is a VS Code editor. First I'll create. A, yeah. First I'll create index.html file. So this is an index.html file. I'll write HTML basic boy syntax. My screen visible. Yeah. Okay. So first I need to imp add uh, for. A, so I'll add AMP as an attribute, not here. I'll add AMP attribute in HTML tag. And then I need to import the library, AMP.js library. So first I'll visit the link, AMP.dev. So when I click on get started, so first I will implement AMP pages. So get started button. So I'll copy the boy. CDN file, it's an AMP.js library. So save it and run it. So I'll go to the directory. Okay, so now my web page is working on AMP. So I can go to Just the Just for a second, I mean, what did it open? We didn't see that. Just wait for a minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you click and then you run. What happened after that? Yeah. Actually, I just copied the AMP JS library. Yes. So I visit the AMP stories, uh, AMP website. So I just copy the AMP JS library. Mm -hmm. This is AMP JS library, and I copy that library into web browser, uh, into yes. the HTML code, and I added AMP tag. Yes. Okay. And yeah. save, and check it in my browser. Okay, so right now, yeah, this page is powered by the AMP HTML version and right now is working. Okay. Yes. Okay, so in HTML, uh, like in AMP, we have a modified version of HTML tag. For example, in uh, HTML, you are using image tag. So we can add a, a image using image tag. But if you are working on AMP, so we have to use AMP hyphen image tag. So M hyphen image. Okay. So then I'll have to pass SRC, SRC as an attribute. So for example, I have an image. So I'll use that image. I bag bg1 dot png. Okay. Yeah. So I'll add height property. I can use attribute uh, width is equal to 300 pixels and height is equal to 500 and save and run. Or uh, just cannot read the file. Maybe JPG you have to write, you written PNG. Yeah. So, okay, so yeah. my image is working. So this is the AMP shared uh, images. So I don't need to optimize this image, the size, because uh, it's totally working on AMP. So it will cache the image by the server. Once we uh, deploy the pages on the server side. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is a AMP pages. Uh, if I want to implement the AMP stories, first I need to go, uh, to go to the documentation and go to the AMP stories. 
getting started click on okay so i'll copy the mgs library uh for the story so this one is for the amp pages and i also want have to add js library for the amp stories okay yeah okay so we have a amp story tag tag okay and save it and run it okay so nothing is there uh i have to add stand alone okay so right now there is no page on amp story but the layout is visible okay so now yeah like this yeah okay so i have a amp story tag inside i can create a multiple pages so let's say i'm creating a amp uh, page so i'll create amp story page i'll pass a id let's say my id is cover okay so this is my page one so i'll refresh so this is a page okay any confusion till now as of now so i mean what about the background image it went sorry what background? about the background image uh black one this one no the we before that we added some images right can you go in the code yeah 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 i just removed that image okay because i want to implement amp stories okay so this amp story cover whole page or we can give a particular content for that whole page so if i want to just come in the middle of the page with 400 into 400 size of width and height it won't come no because i'm so totally working on uh, web pages like we cannot uh, do that with that okay. thing okay okay so for creating a amp story first we need to have, add amp story tag so inside amp story we can have a multiple pages so i have implemented so i have created another page so let's say my page is a uh, uh, home this one and this one is for the contact i'll save so we have a three page in amp stories okay now uh like in each pages can have a multiple layers so we can create a layer with amp story tag of uh, amp story grid layer okay now we have to pass template as a attribute so we have a three uh, four types of value so first one is a fill so i'll uh, like inside layer i can add a element so let's say i'm adding a element uh image so am i for image and pass src property so my image is bg1.png and i'll add layout is equal to responsive okay so i'll remove refresh this and i have to add height and width gi hello cpg pq1 the match sorry hello cpg not png the yeah not png bg dot b yeah png image oh sorry cpg
okay so i'll define a, a width and the height of that image pixels okay so i'll refresh okay so we have an image or uh, in amp story this is for the page one i created a layer so with layer amp story grid layer and will pass template is equal to fill so template is equal to fill uh, we have a property so i'll just show you so is it visible yep okay so we can pass a four value in a template attribute so template uh, attribute value so first one is a fill so means the image is uh, adjusted to the full screen and second we can add an element in a in a vertical order so we can add an element 1 and element 2 and if i want to add an element in horizontal view so we have to add template is equal to horizontal and, six, uh, and fourth one is for the third uh, we use uh, like we have a three sections for header and body and the footer sections so similarly we can do uh, first i'll use fill as a and also in uh, amp story page we can have a multiple layers so this is a, a first layer so i'll create another layer so i'll create a layer amp story grid layer okay so uh, i'll use uh, the template is vertical So I'll add some content. So hello world. Save and then run. Okay. So now the my content is uh, color is black. So I'll change the color so I can add a style property. So color is equal to white. Save and run. Visible. okay similarly you can add with the paragraph lara plipsum and refresh it okay so right now i have created a, a one page having a two layer so for layer first one is a fill fill means the full size full size and second one is we can add an element in vertical order and second one, uh, let's say I'm creating another page. So my another page is this one. So uh, I'll use AMP. I want to create an AMP layer, AMP story layer, AMP story grid layer. So I'll add a template. So I'll add a template is equal to, let's say vertical. So we'll pass the value. I'll add some text. I'll add some image because we can add. So I'll copy this image. We'll pass this image and I'll add some data. So I'll Laura Gibson. Okay. Okay. So this is a uh, template is equal to vertical means we can add an element in vertical order okay similarly you can create another layer so let's say i'm creating another layer am stories grid layer let's say i'm uh, i want full so I'll drive template is equal to fill. So I'll copy this image and we'll change the image. So let's say my image is bg2 dot this one. And I want to add some content. So on I am story greet layer so 
this this one is for the vertical arrangement so i'll copy okay so i'll add some content here so my content is uh, hello world and add some random text like this and run it okay so this is uh, for page 1 page 2 and page 3 and i want to change the text color so i'll add a css property so inline css i'll use so style color is equal to white okay any other confusion Okay. No. So similar. Hello. Hello. You can also add animation. Ah, uh, like for the for example, I want to add animation in Hello World in page one. So we have a attribute animate in. So. I'll add animation value. So let's say my animation is fade in. Okay. Just wait for. I'll show you. Or you can add fly in right. visible animation also let's say i'm adding animation or this one so not right this one is for the left okay similarly i can create a button let's say i can create a button so i'll use button so she more Info. Yeah, this is a button. I can add a CSS with this for the designing purpose. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. okay so any confusion not not so far okay so this is all about am story we can create am story also uh, like we can create a multiple pages so like for example i want to add more pages so let's say id is different for end section so this one is layer so i'll remove this layer i want this content yeah so i'll check this one is blank page and there is a plus symbol and also in am story we can add a uh, bookend bookend means the end pages of your am story and sections for example uh, this is a bookend when i click on this link so more to read we can add uh, with bookend so for creating a bookend for, for we need to create a json file so let's say my json file is data dot json okay so for creating a data retrieval so i'll write objects create objects so i'll pass bookend version so it's a predefined so version is right now i, I have to use version 1.0 and then we have to add share provider share provider means i can share this link on multiple platform so share provider means uh, this one okay so i'll use share provider so this is a opt uh, array of opt so i'll add facebook 
add uh, Twitter. Similarly for the email. Okay. So I want to add this uh, bookend into my page. So before closing my AMP stories, I'll just use AMP story book and I'll pass SRC file. So SRC and we'll pass data.json. Okay. And we'll pass layout is equal to no display for starting. For bookend, uh, we need to host this website on uh, because book, bookend is not working on uh, local. We cannot run bookend.json file on locally. We need to host this. Uh, it will be served on HTTP or HTTPS. Okay. So, for example, if you want to host this website, so I'll go to the terminal so I can host this website on a Firebase uh, web page. I'll uh, change the structure, uh, not this one. Okay, so uh, for hosting, uh, let's say I'm creating a project on a Firebase console.firebase.google.com. I'll create a project. Okay, so first I'll write Firebase in it. For hosting purpose, okay. Then yes, and then I select hosting. I will select the project. So my project is ready. So my project is AMP story test. So I'll select use existing project. So this is a AMP story uh, test. So I'll write a directory pu public no for single page. So this is a public directory. So I'll go to the directory and I'll just cut all this file and paste it here. Remove this index.html file. Okay. And then publish uh, for deployment. We have to use Firebase deploy as a command. Yeah, so this is a URL, so I can attach this URL on wait for a minute. Okay. 
public index.html. I'll write not HTML. So I'll save. Again, Firebase deploy. Not sorry. So HTML. Okay, so this one is working. Yeah, it's totally working on AMP stories. I need to. It's not working. Check whether image is working or not. Let's check. Is this there? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Any other question? Yeah, I mean, how you evaluate the performance? If I will use simple JavaScript, then yeah. I cannot achieve this with a good performance? No, uh, like uh, they have mod uh, like they have an AmpJS library you can do with AMP, but in JavaScript you have to write a lot a lot of code. Like you can implement with jQuery also. But with yeah, so many it's just a difference of code, or there will be also a performance difference or everything. No, I'm sorry, have a lot uh, like uh, it's a very optimized uh, web page. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, and generally, uh, which company use this, and what is the real scenario? Actually, uh, there is a lot of websites. So for example, I can show you. Uh, even Google is using, and uh, there is a news website. Have you seen this uh, thing? Uh, I'll show you. Because I never heard about this before. Yeah, I'll show you uh, the video once. Okay. There is a lot of news companies are working on AMP stories. Mm -hmm. Like all the news companies are working on AMP stories. All right, yeah, thanks. Okay. So this is a real example in uh, Google page. Let's say I'm searching again. Uh, Let's say I'm search, I'll search. Not Sundar Pichai. Any, anything, Mr. Trump? I don't know, the, they have published their Trump stories. No, but these uh, things are working on AMP pages because there is a symbol of AMP visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So AMP pages are much more faster. Yeah, so there's a symbol of AMP. So there's an AMP card, card carousel. So it's totally working on AMP pages. And do they have and anything for the AMP side? The... Sorry? Do they have anything for the Android side? This AMP, some AMP library, which can I integrate on the no, Android no. application? No, 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 no. 
like i can you can implement uh, with web view in android yeah but you have to pass the url okay yeah but uh, yeah you can uh, with web view you can implement mm -hmm. so let's have search you may see i think yeah so for example yeah this one is for the messy am stories and they okay. use am for this yeah even in facebook have you seen uh, like uh, amp demo just i'll show the example for example if you want to access a page uh, for of google who is working on amp let's say uh, you have to type g.co slash amp demo amp demo so this page this google web page is much more faster than ordinary uh, google page because this page is working on uh, amp so let's say i am search term yeah this is the result so right now uh, there is a url uh, like accelerated mobile pages okay yeah and yeah i'll start show you am web page demo just wait for a minute not here i'll show you the subtitles okay so uh, have you seen uh, yeah so have you seen this one like uh, news this one features in your android or there is a navigation bar so yeah ebay type of navigations so right now ebay is also working on amp any other confusion any question hello am i audible hello okay is there any question for related to am stories or web yeah i shared the repository link i have created a repository for amp pages so this is a link i'll share okay so this is a link 
So you just visit the link uh, github.com slash fridgeraj slash AMP stories. Okay, so this is an example for AMP story you can implement with your uh, on your local machine. So I'm not, I'm not using any extension in VS code right now. I'm just using VS code editor now only. And I just install uh, Firebase CLI for deploying purpose. Yes, you can add CSS, uh, like you can add bootstrap CSS, you can implement if you want, but uh, uh, instead of using any other framework, you can add your own CSS with Flexbox or if you want to add. Any other? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like, if you want to uh, explore, so we have a AMP components. You just have to go to the components, like AMP HTML page, tags. So you can implement all the tags. Like for example, if you want to add media, so for example, I need to add, yeah. So I can add an AMP video, so I can visit and I can add video with AMP video tag. So there's a lot of tags. Like we can add a sidebar that just we have to add an AMP sidebar, that's it. And I'll show you the demo. Playground, playground. Any other question? So uh, amp.dev, just visit the link. And if you want to build an AMP website, just go, go ahead. If you want to build AMP stories, you can go here. Okay. So AMP email is a kind of, uh, for example, uh, like this is an email. I got this email from, uh, so uh, have you seen some kind of email for the rating purpose? Like how was your feedback? So there is a star. So when I click on third star, so uh, it or the data is automatically submitted with the e email itself. So when I click on, in some email, when I click on star, so it, uh, it will pop up to the new window and then we have to rate the kind of services. So we can implement AMP email, which is much more faster than other email services. Email, okay. Also, we can add, like create a ads with AMP email, AMP ads, okay. Yeah, this one is an example for AMP email. And also you can, yes. 
with AMP ads only. Yes, use you right now you uh, with Google ads right now. Okay, so yeah, so this is an example. I can book the uh, appointment within a mail, not on any, any other tab. Okay. So I can also remove, review this this one logic also. Any other con question? So go, uh, go to the repository and there is a step to work. Like for example, first uh, I need to implement, I need to add MGS library and then MGS library for M stories. And then this is a page. And then we have to M story tag and inside M story, like I have to add M story page tag. And then I, in page, we can have a multiple layer. So I added a M story create layer. And similarly for, another layer. So there is a tutorial, you can follow it. And this is an example for, yeah, index.html file. No, actually I have no idea about instant articles. Any other question? Okay, so there is a link for the slide. Just visit bridge.page.link slash AMP. And you can also connect with me on a GitHub or Twitter or on a website, bridge.xyz. And thank you so much.